This shows where we know that there are oil and coal and gas. So the oil in each case is the black one, and then the coal is this little sort of um, purpley one, and the, the gas is this blue one. This happens to be the Middle East right here, and the Middle East has more than half of the proven reserves of oil in the world. It's not the place you go for coal, but there's a whole lot of gas there. Uh, the U.S. uses a lot more oil than most places. We have lots of oil in the U.S., but it's only 14% of the proven reserves. There's a huge amount of gas has been found, but it's still only just uh, 6%, and then the coal is, is fairly high in the U.S. And you can sort of walk around here. Europe uses a lot of energy, and they are very poor in basically in everything. They've got more of the coal than anything else, but they really don't have all of that much. Much. There's a whole lot of some of these up in Russia and so on. So you can run down in Asia here, and there's a whole lot of coal, Australia especially. But you can notice that because the way this is distributed, some people use more than they have, and some people have more than they use. There's a lot of trade goes in various directions, and this makes the international economy and the international politics fairly interesting.